Hey there, Louis Acabellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can switch from the modern experience to the classic experience in a SharePoint online list. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now first we're going to look at how to switch from the modern experience in a SharePoint list to the classic experience, and then we'll look at how to switch back. And then we're going to look at how you can turn off the modern experience for all SharePoint lists on a site collection. Now, unless your SharePoint administrator or site owners have made or requested a change, SharePoint online lists will default to the modern experience. Now you can see here that I'm currently in a SharePoint online list, and this list is in the modern experience. Now, if I want to switch this to the classic experience, the first thing that I want to do is click on the settings icon in the top right hand corner of the interface. Next, I want to go ahead and click on list settings. Next, I want to click on advanced settings. And on this page, you want to scroll right to the bottom. And here you can see this option that reads display this list using the new or classic experience. And as we saw, this list was set to the new or modern experience. Now, if I want to switch it to the classic experience, I want to click on classic experience and then click OK. Next, you wanna go ahead and click on the name of your list to bring you back into the list. So I will click on invoices. Now you might notice this when you actually change the setting that the first time you come back into this list, it's still going to display in the modern experience. I've tested this a ton of times and I've seen this behavior. Now I'll go ahead and refresh the page and you can see here that this list has now updated to display in the classic experience. So that's how to switch from modern to classic. Next, I'll show you how to revert back from the classic experience to the modern experience. Now to do that, you want to go ahead and click on the list tab. And here you wanna click on list settings. Next, you want to click on advanced settings. And again, you wanna scroll right to the bottom of this page and you want to click on new experience and then you want to click on OK. Next, you want to click on the name of your list. And you can see here, I was able to switch this list back into the modern experience. Next, I will show you how you can turn off the modern experience for all SharePoint lists on a site collection. Now, before I do that, what I'm going to demonstrate is that when you create a new list, again, by default, it is going to be set to the modern experience. So you can see here, I'm about to provision a new list. I'll go ahead and click create. And as you would expect, this is going to default to that new modern experience. Now, in order to turn off the modern experience on a site collection, what you want to do is you want to navigate back to the main page for your SharePoint site. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on my site icon here. And from here, you want to scroll down in your quick launch navigation menu and click into your site contents. Next, you want to click on the settings icon here. And in the site collection administration group, you want to click into site collection features. Now here you want to scroll down and you want to look for the SharePoint lists and libraries experience feature. So you can see here SharePoint lists and library experience and you can see the description that reads activate this feature to turn off the new SharePoint list and library experience for this site collection. So when we go ahead and click activate, this is going to turn off that modern experience as the default and what that means is any new lists that get created on this site collection are going to default to that classic experience. And for existing sites, we will have to manually set those to the classic experience, or we can look at setting an option that will just make them follow 
whatever the default is on your site. Now here, I'll go ahead and press activate. And if I scroll down, you'll see here that this feature has been activated. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to navigate back to my site and I am going to go ahead and create a new list. I'll create a blank list. I'll just call this test list. And I will go ahead and click create. And now you can see that this list has actually defaulted to that classic experience. So that is how you can turn off that default. Now I will quickly click back into the list that we were looking at earlier in the tutorial called invoices. Now you can see here that even though we had turned off that default setting, this list is still showing up in the modern experience. And again, that's because this list was set to the modern experience. Now, if I wanted to change this to follow the default setting for the site collection, again, I can click on the settings icon. I can click into list settings. I can click on advanced settings. I'll scroll all the way down here. And this time I'm going to set this to default experience for the site. Now, because we turned off the modern experience and once we check this, what we would expect to see is that this is now going to revert to that classic experience. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Next, I'll click on the name of my list. And again, you may see this behavior where the list doesn't update right away. I'll just go ahead and click refresh. And you can see here that this list is now following that default setting for the site collection and it appears in the classic experience. So that's it. In this tutorial, I showed you how you can switch a SharePoint online list from the modern experience to the classic experience. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Acobalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.